How you doing? You know. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You will break my leg. You will. You will break my leg. <laughs> well, isn't that the whole point of dancing? I don't like this. After all, when you want to dance, people say break a leg, right? I'm not interested in this one. You're going to be in Stop! Oh god! You will break my nail right now. I'm sorry. Sorry, did I hurt you? Familiar job. Ooh. Look who is becoming fluent in the language. <laughs> yes. yes. Unlike you. Give me a shower. I'm coming with you. To do what? To take a shower. No, it's my turn. Come I... on. Enter the bathroom. Yeah. No, no, just go back. Go back. Go. Go. <laughs> That's it, already. Mm -hmm. oh. Babe, why didn't you wake me earlier? I just woke up. Babe, hey, come, let's pray. Two shall become one, remember? Yeah, but... If a man would leave his father's house and cleave to his wife, they shall become one. So if you're praying, I'm praying, okay? You say that often. Look, baby, I don't have time to pray right now. Don't you understand? Just pray for both of us. As long as you're praying, God is answering. for the meeting so you just pray for both of us please while I go and make money for both of us <clears throat> just pray for both of us okay let me just go and get ready for work I don't want to be late for the meeting I still think you should consider what he is saying. <laughs> I beg my sister, forget that one. Faith, I still remember you telling me you needed a companion and now God brought you this man. <laughs> what is it with you and this new talk about God safe? Like since you became a born again last year, you just changed. Yes, just because I've realized there is no life better than this. Spend me that one, I beg. Just spare me that one. Look, I admit, I needed a companion. But I wasn't praying for a man that spends most of his time speaking weird language. <laughs> Every time he's always saying, I don't even understand. Like this. 
Babe, do you know that sometimes this man locked himself up in a room reading the Bible instead of studying how to make me happy? It's not fair now. He is not speaking word language. He's speaking in tongue. Hey! So you believe in those words? You believe in that thing? Hey, this babe. Look, I remember when you do laugh at those who do that too. So you now believe in them. That one is his business, Sha. Yeah. The only tongue I want to be hearing is how much he loves me. How beautiful I am. How he can't live a day without me. You understand? Mm. Do you know that since six months we've dated, that man has never touched me? You're surprised, right? <laughs> Baby. I'm, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. All right, let me, let me just shock you. There was a time I tried seducing him. He ran out of the room. <laughs> that day I was laughing. I was like, uh-uh, what's happening? Are you okay? <laughs> Sometimes I think he's dead down there. Or mm. maybe he respects you. Re. My sister, you say re. Res what? <laughs> Forget respect, I beg. Look, let me tell you. Marriage is a lifetime event. And I can't settle down with a man who can't satisfy me. Like, who would want to be with a man that can't satisfy her desires? Nobody. Faith, you've dated different good in bed guys. Mm -hmm. And they end up breaking your heart. Oh. And after I prayed for you about it, God brought this man for you. Prayer, who knows? He might be the right person. Prayer warrior. <laughs> Let him prove it down there. Let him prove it in the sack. Yes. Oh, my baby girl, but let's change topic. So, what's up? How is your husband? He's fine. Uh, I know he's fine. So, when are we expecting? Hmm? Expecting what? A baby, of course. Look, babe, you've been married for three years and some months now. I want to be a godmother. Okay, we're working on it. <laughs> You're working on it, please. If you work faster, you're not getting any younger. Mm -hmm. You're not getting any younger. Be patient, baby. Be patient. It will soon be ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally, something Just to have this for now. Yeah? My baby, look at you. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say you're looking more beautiful every day. Like, <laughs> there's this new glow around you. Someone is teasing me now. No, I'm not teasing you, babe. Seriously, you're looking more gorgeous every day. <sighs> it's the beauty of the spirit. Yeah? Mm hmm. Well, maybe. You know, I thought you were about to say um, it's all because I've been taking good care of you. <laughs> you know? Okay, of course. You've been taking care of me just like the way I've been taking care of you. But to be honest with you, ever since I invited the Holy Spirit to my heart, there's this inner peace and glow I, I have, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. Please, can you just, I'm so, I'm starving. Can you go and get the food ready before it burns? I'm really hungry. Okay. Yeah. See you. All right. Don't die yet. No, I, I, I you better make the, just bring the food already, please. Tola, I'm not done with allowed what you have get to me. Why would he not get to me? Why would that man say a thing like that? Why would he be so callous and mean? How can he tell me that I, 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 I came with a, a proposal that wasn't well, pre well prepared? Huh? I should go back and, and do my research. So I was just there blabbing, blabbing all along. I don't know what I'm talking about. By now, you should be used to the way my uh, uh, chairman talks now. I'm really just angry. Bro, I put in so many hours into this, man. I've been working on this for weeks gathering all the information needed to make this presentation lit and i was hoping that he would like the contents 
he, he, he just embarrassed me in there and made me feel so little. No doubt, sir. Eh? I was not happy with the way the chairman spoke to you. But then, you don't have to let this mess with yourself. I've been working so hard, hoping that I would finally get the promotion I deserve. The long-awaited promotion, and I thought this was going to be it. Look what he did now. He just messed the whole thing up for me. Sorry. Let this thing go, eh? See, we have walking. I'm not in the mood for walking. I don't have that strength. Where are you headed? I'm going for a walk. I need to clear my head. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Why is he running? Uh, babe, mm. you never told me what mess with your day. You go back home looking pissed. Can we not talk about it right now? Was it that bad? Well, sometimes I just wish that I had my own company because I'm really sick and tired of having these fresh new ideas and every time that my old school boss would just stomp on it. <laughs> Sorry, what, what has he done this time? Well, can you believe that's the presentation I took so long, so many weeks preparing, the one you were so impressed with? My boss just threw it in the trash. That presentation was good. It is. But babe, I've always felt it would be better you start up your own company like you've always wanted to the first time we met. All these ideas are unique and progressive. If you put it in yours, I bet you, you will take over the market. Well, if you remember, babe, before I started working in that company four years ago, I had this business plan for my company, which I took to so many investors, but nobody was willing to invest then. And you gave up? No, I didn't give up. I w babe, we're going to get married. Was I supposed to continue peddling business plans all over the place while I was unemployed? I needed to work and make money for us. I understand. But have you asked yourself a question? Are you willing to live the rest of your life working in that company where your creative abilities are not recognized just because you're receiving a salary that is okay for us? Babe, we need to focus on this film. This is the best part. Oh, uh, no. This is what you always do. Each time I bring up this issue of you opening your own company. Come on, babe. We can talk about that later. Seriously, this is the funniest part of the film. We need to focus. Come here. Come on. We'll talk about it later. You see, Sister Choma, many people, including Christians, started where Jesus stopped the moment he died and resurrected the third day. Hey, Sister Choma, you needed to see what happened in hell. The moment Jesus Christ stepped in, the prince of hell and his agents wanted to subdue him. But imagine the power of God. Jesus showed them pepper. Say, Jesus showed them pepper. Jesus showed them pepper. Oh, pepe. ay, ay, ay. Yeah. It was a mighty battle. But I am happy that Jesus Christ defeated them. You need to see the joy in heaven. That very moment, Christ Jesus defeated Satan and all his agents. Oh, the view tree is so sweet. It was view tree for all of us. That very view tree is what made us who we are today. It was the view tree for mankind. It was the view tree for the... Uh, are you expecting... It's not... You are here. I am here. Brother, 
Well, it's an honor yeah. to have you. Thank you, home. brother. It has been a long time you you came to church last. I really wanted to ask if all is well. I'm so sorry, Pastor. I've been very, very busy with work. But that's not an excuse because God is paramount in my life and I will make sure that I come to church this weekend. Very important. Very, very important. You need to come and commune with God. In his presence there is fullness of joy. You need God in your daily day. Please, let's go inside, freshen up. I'll come out and join you. Very important. Very important. You need to hear the very portion of the Bible we are discussing this moment. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm it's something that will lift your spirit. All right, I'm coming. It's no problem. Oh, no problem. No problem. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, what a happy family. May the peace of God continue to be with you. So, how was your day? You know? Choma, yeah. since when did you think it was okay to invite the pastor over to our house without my permission? Uh, he's our pastor. That's not the answer to the question I asked you. Do you see me inviting my colleagues from work over? <laughs> he's different. Besides, I didn't invite him. He was in the neighborhood and decided to pay us a visit. And why should I believe you? You know, ever since you took that altar call, you've changed. You're a different person. What is wrong with our pastor visiting? You don't seem to get it, do you? I'm talking about boundaries here, okay? Today it's the pastor. Tomorrow it's some choir member. The next thing you know, our house ends up becoming one of these house fellowships. <laughs> Sorry. You mean sell me to? Sorry. Do I amuse you? Hey, babe, it's okay. You, you're getting worked up over nothing. I'm not getting worked up over nothing, okay? I'm simply asking that you respect boundaries. If you're going to see the pastor, you can go to the church and see him there. Like I said, I didn't. He was in the neighborhood and decided to pay us a visit. You know there's this kind of special blessing that comes with it. I just don't want him coming over here. about what you've been saying and you're right these fresh new ideas I have don't belong in old rigid companies they belong in this totally limited what's so funny what's totally what's tochi tochi I say tochi tochi Tochi. Tochi Limited. What was it? Tochi as in Tola and Chioma. <laughs> Please, you need to change this name. It's funny. Why? I like the name. I'm not sure. No, you need a new name. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What I need to know is if you are in full support of this. Sure, I am. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit is also in support. Okay, okay, babe, please. Don't bring the Holy Spirit into this, okay? Don't bring spirituality into this. 
I'm very okay with just my wife's supports. Okay, there's no need for us to bring some abstract personality we're not even sure is real into the whole thing. Okay. I'm I'm shocked with what you just said now. How can you refer to the Holy Spirit as an abstract personality? Despite how long you've been attending church services. Please, there's no need for us to argue about this right now. Okay? This night, I'm trying to work. But... Shh, please. I beg you. Just let me brainstorm, okay? And try to figure out how to adapt this business plan and start the company. Tolani, you want to what? Start my own company. Are you normal? Yes. In this country that kills businesses even before it's fertilized. So what exactly do you expect me to do, Emeka? You expect me to continue to live my life like this? I have to do something. Yes, and this is it. This is the bold step? Starting my own company, yes. Have you even considered for a minute that you might go broke? And don't forget, you have a wife to take care of. A wife who is solidly behind me. I have her full support. You have to rethink this move. You really need to because, I mean, look at you. What if this business gets to flop? What if it gets to flop and then you're old, all of a sudden no um, employer would want to get you into his organization? I appreciate your concern, Emeka, but my business plan is fail-proof. Okay, I'm very confident in what I'm doing. And let me use this opportunity to invite you to join me now. Don't say that again. Don't do it again. Don't even try it no more. What you're trying to do is way too risky. This is Nigeria. Don't even forget that. The odds are against you. See, this is way too risky. Don't do this, brother. Don't do this. <sighs> Risk? Well, I'm comfortable with it. Madness? Yeah. Okay. Mm. How many weeks left before your company will officially let you go? Uh, one week. Mm. Have the guys installed the new items you got for the office? Yeah. The furniture will be ready tomorrow. You need to see this office. It's befitting of a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> I trust you. Uh -huh. I'm glad you're handling that. Mm. As soon as I get the compensation money from the company, mm -hmm. I'm investing all of it in the business, baby. I mean, we're going to buy all the items we need. We're going to employ the people we need to start with. I'm already sending out proposals to companies and it's looking like people are actually interested in investing from the way things are going, babe. I'm telling you, in a short time, we're going to be rolling in money, man. Some real, real, Cool cash. Wow. 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 Yes. That sounds like a good plan. But I still think we should invite the Holy Spirit. We should get him involved. Why? You don't think I'm capable of handling my own business? Oh, babe, that is not what I said. All I said is that we need his guidance. See, if we must soar like an eagle, we need to fly in his wings. Okay. You do the praying, and I'll do the walking. <laughs> Babe, we need to see the pastor so he can... Can you please just st stop this? Come on, I mean, this your spirituality thing is really, really getting on my last nerves, babe. I just can't keep pretending about this. It's getting boring and annoying. Can you just stop it? Oh, just... Babe, oh. please! When we're having a conversation, stop bringing up the whole spiritual thing. You're getting so annoying with it, please. Ah, hurry up so we can we can leave this place and, and go to our event. Where is the office?
looks so good already. Yes. Oh yes, wow, the yes. latest CEO. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Yes, yes, the latest entrepreneur in town. <laughs> Oh hey, my son. Oh hey, my husband. Oh hey, the latest CEO of Tochi. 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 It's It's TC, baby. It's TC. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. That's a bad decision. Bad decision. <laughs> this girl, she don't know when to stop on the matter. I mean, we've been discussing this since I came, and now I'm about to leave. You're still saying the same thing. But I feel that man is God's sake. God said. You say God said. Hey, <laughs> my sister. If God really wants to send me a husband, He knows my spec. Tall, handsome, fair, rich. Not tall, tiny, soft-hearted human being. Like, <laughs> that one is not going to say anything. Okay, tell me the honest truth. Are you seeing someone else? <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I, that's why you broke up with him. <laughs> Babe, I need to see this guy. Very handsome, wild. Hey, God. See, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Who wants to be with a guy that barely touched me almost a year and? Anytime we meet, all he does is talk about future goals, dreams, God, like blah, blah, blah. I'm tired. I'm tired, yes. So I need to change position. I'm tired. Every time, every time. So, Yes, sir. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. I'm fine. Hi. Um, sir, I was about to leave you when you I will call you. Just call me back when you get home. Okay? Don't worry. No. See you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay? All right. Hey, babe. What's up? Why... Why are people so... greedy? I mean, why are people just so full of mischief? What happened? What didn't happen? Babe, everything happened. Everything is happening. What's it now? Three months since I started the company and yet to get an investor. Clients are leaving left, right, center. We're bleeding clients every day. Most of them are saying they prefer to work with the old establishments. I mean, like literally saying that they would rather stay with the old than embrace the new. to pay, we have the rent, we have bills. To cap it off, the only reasonable person I thought was going to actually invest in the company is now asking for 70% of the business. What? what? That was exactly my reaction, 70%. 70% of a company that I started, a company that I'm running, just 
70 percent that's controlling shares these tax agents they're on my neck what am i supposed to tell them that i've only done four transactions since i started the business please calm down this is common with newly established companies. You're not getting it. There's no time. We have bills. God is in control. Trust me. God is not the one that is going to pay the rent. God is not the one that is going to pay the staff salaries. Babe, like I said, calm down. See, we will study the word of God and the Holy Spirit oh, will direct please. us. Please, Choma, can you please just stop this? I mean, stop trying to make this figment of the imagination seem like it's something real. Look, if there's a God, he's up there and we are down here, okay? And we have real problems that require real solutions, practical solutions. Okay, we need to put dry clean um oil for this uh, gate. Okay, sir. Sir. How are you? Fine, sir. How works, sir? Fine. Did okay. my wife go out? Uh, no, sir. My dad inside. Did the mechanic come to take the car away for repair? No, sir. So, where's, where's the car? Where's my wife's car? I don't know, sir. No, yes, no, no, you don't know anything. What do you know? Where's... Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, you go book this for that uh, gate. You they have to push and... I know, sir. I know that's another job they food these days. I don't get set to push and again. So... really tired mm. yeah yeah babe did the mechanic come to get the car is something wrong with the car um no it's not faulty it's not parked in the compound where is it oh can we not talk about it now let's talk about it over the dinner what's with the suspense did you rent the car to someone did you start to buy business? No. Like I said, let's not talk about it. Please. We'll talk about it when we're eating. It's, it's fine. We'll, when, when you're ready, we'll talk. Okay, tell me. How was work? Work was, work was fine. Mm. But not so much. Don't want to talk about it. No, don't worry. We'll talk about it when we're eating. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll join you. Let me check what I'm making. Okay? Okay. Should I take the call? I'm fine. Okay. Why do you want... It's okay. Hmm. I made your favorite meal. I know you'll be tired after a long hour in the office. So... Where's your car? Hmm? Your car. Where's your car? Thank <sighs> you. 
babe. Promise me you will not be mad at me. <clears throat> Where's your car? Um, this morning in church, an urgent need arose that needed a contribution. What has that got to do with the question I'm asking you? I was moved by the Holy Spirit to sow my car as a seed. I couldn't hold it back when a need arose in my father's house. <laughs> That's so funny. Where's the camera? You're pranking me, right? Where's the camera? Where did you place the camera? You just, you just want to see my reaction. Where did you place the camera? Babe, it's not a joke. It's not a joke? It's not a joke? It's not a joke. I, I sold my car as a seed in church. Oh, you mean to tell me that you sold the car I bought for you as a birthday gift in church? Are you insane? No, I, I was moved by the Holy Spirit. If you mention that spirit here again, I will beat you to a pulp. Are you insane? You know what? I'm just going to pretend like this is some kind of comedy show you are doing here. And give you 24 hours. 24 hours, Choma, for you to bring that car back to this house. If I don't see that car in this house by tomorrow evening, what I'm going to do to you, eh? People will call me a madman. But babe, just I... try. If... It was me, the let, Holy let me hold, Spirit, babe. Let me hold myself for now. Ha! You are... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what have I said that is so funny? <laughs> Everything you've said is funny. I mean, where is the head that something like this ever happened? I'm telling you, my brother, I'm still trying to wake up from it. It feels like <laughs> some kind of... <laughs> see, I don't believe your wife's story one bit. How can she even say that she sold that as a gift, as a seed to the church? Huh? Or has she been brainwashed like uh, uh, these other women who can do crazy things in the name of religion? Crazy things? Yes. These men have turned the um, religious people to puppets. Lots of things are happening now. I saw a video where a, a, a pastor was asking his uh, members to lie on the floor so he would walk on them. And they actually did. Really? There's this video that is currently trending now. A pastor asked his church members to all carry him. That his feet is too holy to touch the ground. It's a lie. Pastor Chris will go. It's a lie. And they all carried him. No. Seriously? <laughs> Are you not on social media? It has gone viral. It's everywhere. It's a lie. It's circulating all over social media. I haven't seen it. Are you even on social media at all? Can people be so gullible? <laughs> That's sad. Anyway, I don't believe her story either. My wife. No, it's not adding up. Hmm. Maybe she sold the car and gave the money to someone. I think my wife is dating someone else. No, <laughs> no, 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 Tolani. Your wife that I know is faithful to you. You know, for sure. Are you sure? <laughs>
Rufus. Rufus. Come. Come now, come. Hurry up. Yes, um, there's something I need to ask you. Okay, sir. I want you to be discreet. That means don't tell anybody else. Uh -huh. I don't go tell anybody. Uh -huh. But I want you to tell me the truth. Okay, so I go tell anything we want, I go tell the truth. Fine. Whenever I leave the house, does anybody come to visit my wife in this house? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Nobody. Nobody comes to visit. No, sir. Are you sure? No, sir. You are not sure? What are you saying? Does someone come to visit or not? Uh, yes, 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 sir. Okay. Uh, you get people they come visit. Keep your voice down. You get two, two people they come visit, visit madam. I knew it. Ah, uh, Oga, okay. you know what? Mm. You see, the only two people and the two people who are uh, uh, that madam friend, that are way fair, uh, like saying, be the daughter of Queen Elizabeth, which be her uh, name, Sister Faith. Faith? Uh -huh. And um. that person, where they come now, uh, they are pastor. But their pastor, no, they come always, oh. they come once in the world. Okay. I hope no problem. No problem. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I still didn't see the car outside. Baby, you scared me. Shoma, it's the second day now. Where the hell is my car? I already told you, I saw that car as a seed in the church. I was led by the Holy Spirit. Are you insane? Are you, are you, are you insane? You, you think I'm joking with you? The Holy Spirit did what? You, you slapped me. And I will beat you to a pulp here right now if you don't tell me where my car is. Are you insane? Have you gone crazy? You think I believe this nonsense you've been spitting since yesterday? But I already told you. You told me what? Where the hell is my car? I was led by the Holy Spirit. I... No! You think I'm joking with you? You're going to provide my car. You're going to tell me where the, the hell my car is today. It was the Holy where Spirit. The... Where the hell is my car? It's... Where's my car? Babe, Where's the my Holy car? Spirit? I, I got out. Where's my car? Hey! 
I did not sleep a wink last night after your husband called me. Eh? What happened? What did you do? Mama, what did he tell you I did? What, what do you think a wife could possibly do to deserve this? Choma. <clears throat> Choma. What happened to the car your husband bought for you? Mama, all I did was to follow the lead of the spirit. When he asked me to sew the car as a seed in church. It was... It is, eh, it's not as if I'm laughing at your situation. Hold on. So, the car, the birthday gift your husband bought for you as a gift, a worker, called Okro, Cassava. I don't understand. The spirit led you to sow your. What did they use to dig the ground? They buried the car to sow it. I'm trying to understand. A car your husband bought for you as your birthday gift? Mommy, you're a Christian and I believe you've had fellowship with the spirit. So you understand me. No, 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 my dear. You lost me. Because the Holy Spirit I know and the one you're talking about now are two different entities. What Holy Spirit will tell you to sow a car as seed? Like the Holy Spirit did not realize it was going to put your life in danger? Or jeopardize your marriage? Are you sure you were actually listening to the Holy Spirit? Or were you under the influence of a demonic power? Mommy, there is nothing like demon. I heard the Spirit clearly. Mm. Mm. Anyway. God, I'm still trying to understand that Spirit that will tell you to do something without seeking the permission of your husband. Knowing very well how bad tempered he is. I was led to do it and I did it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Enough of being led. Now I'm redirecting you. I'm releading you. You will go back to that church. Talk to the pastor or whoever it is that convinced you to sow your car as a seed. To dig it up and give it back to you. If they're going to use... A, 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 an earth mover, a, 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 a caterpillar, a, 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 a grader, whatever they are going to use to dig up that car and give it back to you so you will return it to your husband, they had better do it and they had better do it fast. No, Mama. No way. Mm -hmm. I can't go back for that car. Mark again? Mommy, are you not getting what I'm saying? I saw it as a seed in church. And are you not getting what I am saying? He is going to beat you to death if you don't return his car. And let me tell you one more thing. Even a farmer has the right to go and uproot what he has sold. I don't care. Like I said earlier, what you are going to tell them to use. But they are going to uproot that car and you will return it to your husband. Mommy, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I sold that car as a seed in church. So? Why can't you return it? Shoma, are you being completely honest with me? Because I'm beginning to think that maybe you sold that car and hid the money to yourself. Mommy. Don't mommy me. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing an alien, not my daughter. That was harsh. That was too harsh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mama, I am 100% sure that that woman is lying. Pretty sure she must have sold that car. Or she must have given it to someone she's dating. To as much as I understand the situation on ground, I would not appreciate you insulting your wife and my daughter. That woman, as you chose to put her, happens to be your wife if you have forgotten. And come to think of it, yes, I know whatever she did was wrong. I understand, I know. 
But my daughter is not so wayward as to cheat. And for your information, I am not happy about what you did. Come on now. You just called me last night to tell me about this. And you didn't even wait for me to arrive before you said, Promelina now blue and black. That was not right, my dear. How would you have handled it, Mama? What happened, happened. Okay, it's like you don't understand the severity of this situation. As I'm talking to you now, the car is nowhere to be found. After all the shouting, after everything I've said, the car is still nowhere to be found. I bought that car with my hard-earned money. And she just gave it away without permission, lying to us that God told her to. Who does that? Does God now drive cars? Tolu, after beating her, have you seen the car? No. Which is why I said you should have been able to pull yourself together, calm down, and handle this issue maturely. I did <clears throat> not call you here to lecture me or scold me. If that car is not returned within the next 24 hours, there will be no peace in this house. Because I cannot be out there struggling to provide for this family, struggling to keep my company from crumbling while someone is at home selling off my properties. Today, it's the car. Who knows what it's going to be next? The house, perhaps, that doesn't even belong to us. Tolu. He walked out on me. First time in history. Hi. Choma. Oh, God. Who is there? Hold on. Oh. Daddy. Bless you. Bless you, Sister Choma. Welcome, sir. Uh, bless you. I was actually the person I said, let me come and visit the child of God living in this place. Lord of Jesus. Come on. Sister Choma. Sir. What happened to your face? Devil is a liar. Devil, you have lost this battle. Mm. The kingdom of darkness shall never prevail against the church of God. Mm. You have lost it in Jesus' name. Amen. What is this that happened on your face? Um, sir, it's nothing. I it was my carelessness. I was preparing something in the kitchen when I slipped and fell. Some frying granite is touched my face. The devil is a liar. Yes. The devil is a liar. Yes. Oh, blood of Jesus. Nothing will happen to you. Child of God, you are healed. Amen. Listen, you have to be strong. Who knows, if not for the seed you just sowed to the, to the church, this might be worse than this. You know, when God is fighting his children's battle, nobody knows how he does that. But I want to tell you that they've lost the battle. Amen. From now on, the battle shall be lost against them in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall remain victorious. Amen. God will cause his God will cause his light to shine upon you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. From today, because you gave unto the Lord, you shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. Oh, you Jesus. shall never dry up. Amen. You shall bear fruit. Amen. You shall flourish Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Believe you me. God is going to do a great thing in your life. Amen. You shall be a blessing to your generation. Amen. Your blessing shall spread from you to your generation in Jesus' name. Amen. The enemy will never see you. Amen. Child of God, believe in God. You are blessed. Amen. I was actually coming to thank you because of the seed you said the other day. You see, through that seed you sowed, we've been able to pay a tangible amount of money concerning the land the church wants to acquire. Thank you, Jesus. And we are grateful. I am so grateful. God will bless you hundredfold. God will bless you in the morning. God will bless you in the afternoon. God will bless you in the night. Your name shall be blessing. Your blessing shall spread to all your generation. Oh, child of God. Oh. 
Daddy, meet my mother. Oh, Mother, God bless you. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. Excuse me, let me borrow my daughter for a minute. I'm coming, sir. It's all right. Bless you. All right. Is that the man? Is that the pastor that brainwashed you into giving him your car? Mommy, nobody brainwashed me. He didn't even ask me to give him that. I heard that in my spirit that I should do it while he was talking about the needs in the house of God. Chai. <laughs> Riggy, hook, line, and sinker. And the person was very, 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 very magnanimous near Riggy because the person ate everything, including your change. You're so naive. Look at you. You're still defending the, 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 the fraud star. Anyway, it's okay. Don't worry. I need to go and talk to him. Why, mommy? Why? Give him why. He has to return the car now. No, don't do that. No. I should not do that. Are you asking me to sit aside and watch well that young man? When he came, I know the day they married his mother dupes you. <sighs> Mommy, eh? I'm not being duped. I gave that out of my free will. Please, let me handle this myself. Choma. If you're not seeing it, let me explain it to you. You are being duped and it is destroying your marriage. It is clear you cannot handle this. Allow me to talk to him. See, listen. I'm going to be very polite. I will not throw my rot on him. I will talk to him politely. I won't insult him. Hmm? So mommy, just... mommy, I will be cross with you if you go out there and embarrass me. I've told you, let me handle it. Just stay away from this matter. I will handle it myself. Excuse me. It patches and bruises all over her face and she's still talking of handling it herself. No I'm so sorry, sir, for keeping you waiting. No, no problem, Sister Choma. You see, actually, I came to thank you for the seed you said to the church some days ago. You see, it wasn't easy to do that. I know how difficult it is for anybody to take such a difficult decision. <laughs> but you stood and listened to the word of God. And for that reason, God is going to bless you. Amen. In fact, that seed really helped us to be able to acquire the land we wanted to acquire for the church. Mm. You can't believe it that without your gift, we are able to raise a tangible amount of money and paid for the land. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God will replenish your pocket. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. Your pocket will never run dry. Amen. You see, I know how, how, how difficult it is. You might, you might have sold with tears, but I want to tell you today, through Jesus Christ that lived, you are going to reap bountifully happy in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, Pastor, I... I gave that car and the spirit led me to. <laughs> and the spirit led you aright. And because you hearken to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you shall never go astray. Amen. The hand of God shall always direct you to the right path. Amen. No enemy will see you. Amen. No evil shall before this household. Amen. Oh, Spirit of God. Because you listen to the voice of Holy Spirit, your voice must be heard by heavens in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, you might have sold with tears, but I want to confirm to you today that as far as my Redeemer liveth, you are going to reap with joy Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Your pocket will continue to overflow Amen. because it is written in the Bible that give and it shall be given unto you. Suffering will never see you. Amen. Poverty will never see you. Amen. From now on, you shall be on top. Amen. You will never be at the bottom. Amen. Oh, Sister Choma, through Jesus Christ, the Redeemer, I declare today the blessings of God upon this household. Because you've hearkened to the voice of the Holy Spirit, from today henceforth, 
your family will know peace. Amen. Your family will be blessed. Amen. You shall testify the goodness of God. Amen. And forever and ever, Amen. God's presence will remain in this house. Amen. Sister Choma, you are blessed in the morning. Amen. You are blessed in the afternoon. Amen. You are blessed in the night. Amen. And blessing you shall remain Amen. now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Babe, please open the door. Let's talk. Please. Babe, if someone tell me that you do something as foolish as this, I will not believe it. Like, I will say it's a big lie. Like, what were you thinking? Were you on something? Were you, like, did you take anything? You would not understand. Understand what? No, make me understand. How can a full, grown-up, well-educated woman like you do something as foolish as this? For me, no man, I repeat, no, nothing on this earth can make me do something like this. Nothing. I know yeah. it's Santa now. I know. Just I know it may appear foolish. But you foolish. will not understand. Spare me that one. Just spare me that your salmon. Look, let me tell you. No man on earth would take that rubbish that you did. Though he was a little extreme. But... Who would thoroughly that kind of a thing now? Just give out your card, just like that. No. Please, can we change this topic? I'm going through a lot right now. Please. No problem. I'm sorry. But don't you think there's a way we can get that car back? Yes, because this car is not 500 naira. It's what a lot. Hey, let's talk about something else. Please. That car is worth a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. And uh, what are you saying? Emeka, what I'm saying is that things are bad. Hmm? Things are really bad for me. I haven't had any new clients in months now. The few investors I had in the company are all leaving. One after the other. I'm owing staff salaries. And everyone is breathing down my neck. I've run out of money. I don't know what to do. And on top of all of that, there's my wife. 
and what she did. She hasn't returned the car yet. My brother, she hasn't. No. Women. Women are strange creatures. But I'll just advise you take it gently with her. Because I mean, I strongly believe that she was heavily brainwashed. Because I mean, how can somebody just give out her car like that? How is it possible? I don't even want to talk about her. Thinking about it makes me really angry. Let's just forget it. How are you? I'm fine. But then I'm thinking of quitting the job. Why? Ever since you left, the workload has just been way too much on me. I can't handle it. If you ask me, I'd say don't. Don't leave the job, okay? Don't be like me. Look what I did. I quit, had big dreams, and look where it landed me in debt. At least you don't have to deal with debt. You can expect a salary at the end of every month, no matter how bad it is. Okay, bro? Don't be like me. Rufus! Rufus! You say? Open the gate! You say? Oh, okay, they come out. Okay. Nadia. Uh huh. No, madam, that's a bucket. You can not go back than that. Uh -huh. Ah, they come. Ah, they come. They come. They come. They come. They come. Backers, you can go, cannot go more than backer. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Madam, make you buy it for more of this year. Who no say now? Nah. Hey, my dad, 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 my Come on, get down from that car. You're a great, you're a mad. Sorry. Come on. Sorry, sorry. Come on, come on. 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 Mama, 
Hey! Madam, if I call me for phone now, nah. if I call me for phone, what can I do with these people? Huh? Ah, I go there here, you hold me, roof for, roof fee, roof fee. I go there here, robber, I'm gonna pursue you. Eh? Huh? Who them be? Who from them? Ah, the, 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 for, 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 Robbers, what car did they take? See, babe, they took the car from me. Let's call the police. Which which car? You see, the thing is, I was I was cooking and I discovered we needed some food ingredients. So I I took your car. You took my car too. What, what happened? They snatched it from me. Robbers. My car. They took my car from you. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I, I see what's happening here. Oh, okay, so because nothing happened the first time. Oh, okay, so this is about to happen again. What do you mean, Robert took my car? They took. They, 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 they snatched it from me. Let's do something very fast. Yes, yes. We, 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 we. Yes, we'll do something. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, just calm down. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I can't be calm. Cal Just calm down, please, okay? I, I don't want you having a heart attack about this. Just calm down. We're going to do something about it. So, uh, they, 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 they snatched the car from you. Yes. With guns. Big guns. Guns. Babe. Okay, fine. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Um, this is what will happen. Just go to the, go to the parlor and wait for me. Let me change into something so I can, uh, I can go make a report. Babe, there is no time for you to change. Let's just go. Just, oh, babe, I said calm down and let me handle this. Go to the parlor and wait for me. Uh, we don't need to delay. Let's... Can you just calm down and allow me handle this? Just go and wait for me in the parlor. I'm coming. I'll join you. Okay. Go, please. Just let me find something to wear. Let's... Go wait for me now. Please, God help me. All oh, these arm robbers, wherever they are, oh God. But I begin to flog them with scare so they will return my husband's car. Jesus, please arrest them, oh Lord. Wherever they are, east, west, north, and south. Father, oh Lord, let them be arrested in the name of Jesus. But I let them bring back this car. Hey, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please. Holy Spirit, please help me. What is still keeping him so long? He's been. What's he doing there? Babe! Babe! Please come outside. I've been waiting for you for over an hour. So we can go lay a complaint at the station. Why did you lock the door? Babe! Uh, 
thank God you're here. I and my husband wanted to come to the station to file a complaint about the stolen car. Uh, good day, ma'am. You are Miss Chama, right? Yes. Okay, we are officers from Division 6 and we are here for... Aha, officers, you are here? Yes, sir, we are here. Good, good, good. Um, this is her. Um, yes, we actually wanted to come file a report, right? Officers, this is the criminal. Please take her away. No, me, no, no. I am not a criminal, please. Go with us, sir. You are needed at the station. Okay, wait. You better come cooperate with us so we don't use force on you. Wait. Let's go. Sir, sorry, hold on. Let's go. Sorry. That's the criminal. Let's go. Officers, please take this criminal away and make sure you keep her locked up until she tells you where my cars are. Please calm down and cooperate with my Let's go. Make sure you keep let's her go. locked up until she tells you where let's my go. cars let's go. are. Madam, let's go. Bro. What are you saying? Sorry, doing? madam. Uh, you see, you have He's to... Gone point. Let's go. Let's go. Madam, you have to cooperate with my name. Please, I was wrong let's go. on the gun point. Please, let's go, let's go. Let's, 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 let's keep her locked up until she tells you where the cars are. Your story doesn't sound convincing. First, your car. Now, your husband's. Are you not tired of this torture? Tell me the truth. You sold his car, didn't you? What more do you want me to say? I have told you the truth. And why would I want to sell my husband's car? That is what I want to find out. Why would you do that? It's okay. You don't need to cry. Tell me. Who did you sell the car to? Where does he live? I was robbed. How many times did I have to tell you this? I was robbed. It seems you're a stubborn criminal, right? Since you don't want to tell me anything, you don't want to say a word to me. I will make sure they force the truth out of your mouth. <laughs> Officer, I am not feeling too well. I'm very sick, please. Look, if you did not tell me the truth, she will remain here. I say, now you blow me for this compound. Come on, Rufus, come and open this gate. Ah. Um. Ah. Uh. Open this gate. I want to talk to your girl. You want to talk to my girl? Yes, it's very urgent. You want to speak with my girl? If I open this gate now. What's his name? Rufus! Come here. What's going on there? Oga? Nah! Madam, friend, Sister Faith, he say he want to see you. Tell her I'm not around. Ah. Mark. Just tell her I'm not around. Okay, if you say so. But you die around, Sha. Um, uh, Mawaga, tell me, say, make I tell you, say, he know the. It's a lie. <laughs> Mr. Tola, I know you're in there. <laughs> Mr. Tola, please, I need to speak with you. It's very urgent. 
urgent. But I don't think I miss it now. It's just the shout. It's not the company. Mr. Kola, please, it's very urgent. I'm begging you, please. <laughs> Mr. Kola, please, I'm begging you. Oh. Oga, okay. he's saying no, if I go. Unless say him talk to you. Say they urgent. Is that so? Yes, sir. Time. Okay, sir. I calm down, calm down. The Lord have answered your prayer. It's just a sha 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 sha. I like say, enter. You go. People plenty. Now, so they go to disturb me. They call me Rufus, 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 Rufus. Who is making us at your gates? And I don't know what I go tell the the, the estate people. Now. Women, eh? Now, wow. Sir. Sir, please. Please. I heard what happened to my friend. That's why I'm here. Oh, you mean you heard how your friend sold my cars? Sir, please. I know what she did was very bad, but looking her up, it's not good for her health. She sold the first car. I forgave her and did nothing. Now she sold the second one and is cooking up stories saying that I don't understand what exactly she's saying happened. Sir, I don't know what's wrong with that girl. I don't know. Ever since she became a born again, she just changed. But sir, I'm begging you, you know she's your wife. Tampa justice with mercy. As long as I don't see my car, she will remain locked up. Sir, Tampa justice with mercy. She will, it will not happen again. I will make sure of that. I will make sure it does not happen again, sir, please. As you can see, I'm on my way to work. Sir, I'm begging you. Now, I would have taken one of the cars. Now I have to jump from one bike to another just to find my way to work. Tell me how I'm supposed to let this slide. Sir, she's Considering your wife. everything, my wife. She's your wife. No. Sir, she's your wife. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh. Sir, please, no. everybody makes mistakes. Oh. I'm not letting this one slide, Mama. First, it was her car. Now, mine? And you expect me to let this one slide? What's it going to be next? Tola, because we're talking about your wife here. I don't care. She can be whoever she wants to be. She should have thought about that before plotting to sell my car or giving it to whoever it is she's dating out there. I am begging you in the name of God. I am begging you, if you want me to kneel down, I will kneel down for you. The person in question is your wife and my daughter. Forgive her, please. You know what, Mama? Let that God that you just mentioned come and save her from this mess that she has brought upon herself. Because I can tell you one thing. It is either she's just so greedy or she's just so stupid, one of it. However, whatever the case is, let God come and rescue her from the mess that she has created for herself. I'm done with this conversation. I'm tired of it, Mama. I have other things to do, please. Can you, can you please just explain to me how it is that we're going bankrupt again? Sir, it's true. With two of our investors pulling out due to our debt status and the cost of maintaining the company, paying off staffs and other expenses. Sir, we are strongly at a great loss now and the available funds isn't able to cover up. You spare me that. Spare me that crap. Because I told you to lay off some workers, didn't I? I did, sir. I did. Still, still didn't survive the situation. At this point, I believe it's what that can help us from going bankrupt, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. God. Only God. Get out of here. Yes, sir. It's only God that can help us. You should go and bring your father to, to come and invest in the company and help us, you see. God, what has... I mean, we're offering better services than most of these competitors out there. Why the hell am I losing customers to those, 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 those scams?
What is going on? What is really going on here? Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Madam, you are disturbing us here now. What is this? I don't know why she wanted to speak. Now you lose your mouth. She's going to lose your mouth. Take her down away. Lose your mouth. She's going to 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 lose your mouth. As I'm walking along the way, the only road now is Holy Spirit, see me through. So has she finally revealed who she sold the cars to? You see, that's why I'm here. You see, my men and I have been investigating the case. A lot of witnesses have been testifying that there was a robbery incident at that particular spot that same day. So, what does that mean? Hmm. That is quite suggesting that your wife might be telling the truth. Um, one of the witnesses said she's, he saw uh, a woman driving towards that <clears throat> place that very day. And uh, the car he described fits yours. He advised her to reverse. But what I don't know is if she did reverse or not. But the car he describes fits yours. I don't believe any of those stories. <sighs> Mr. Tola, I am suggesting you come and take your wife and take her to the hospital because her health is deteriorating. Before it gets late, are her legs crippled? Mr. Tola. Are her legs crippled? Oh. Who is my husband? He didn't come. He didn't come. Look, what you did was very wrong. But him treating you this way, it's too harsh. Please, I want to go home. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Adam. We will first take you to the hospital so that they will check you up, see if there's anything that is wrong with you, then they'll give you drugs. You're not looking good at all. I just want to go home. Listen to your mother. You need medication. I want to go home. Just please take me home. Let's let's just go. Let's go. Okay. Why are you stubborn? So okay. it's okay. Call attention. Choma, your friend is right. We need to take you to the hospital. Oh, Adam. Mama. He abandoned me in that station. He even asked the policeman to torture me. Come to pick me up when 
he called him that I needed a medical attention. All because of a car. You know what? I don't care anymore. I want to die. Let me tell you something. Hmm? Just put your hands inside your mouth, pull those words out and throw them away. What is wrong with you? Eh? God forbid, you will not die. You won't. Say it again. Okay, you want you you want to kill me? You won't. Mama. Since the man I got married to has this wicked heart, just let me die. Let me die. No. Baby girl, you won't die. Not why we are here. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> You need to listen to your mother. You need to listen to her. Let's take you to the hospital. We can carry out a text on you and give you a proper medication. How do you want to do this to yourself because of a your man? Please excuse me, ma. I'll be back. Are you going outside? No, I want to make Please, a call. Yeah. Who is supposed to bury the other? Okay, fine. Go ahead. Die because of a man. Then after that, when I die, my corpse will be laid on top of the earth for the beds of the earth to come and feed on it. What is your problem? Hello, Mr. Tola. Faith, or well, whatever it is, please make it fast. I'm busy. So why are you treating my friend this way? Why are you treating her like this? She needs medical attention. Is that why you called me? This is your wife we are talking about. Are you going to let your anger get in the best of you? Faith, I just told you I have work to do. I'm busy. Sir, she needs medical attention. Then let her go to the hospital for crying out loud. Don't call me and waste my time about it. Sir, this is your wife you're talking about. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Tola? Hello? to yourself, eh? Yeah. Baby girl, we need to go to the hospital. I cannot let you remain like this. We need to go to the hospital. Faith, you don't understand. If my God does not save me, then let me die. Let me die. You're very stubborn.
Hello? Dr. D. Yeah, sorry, I've been very busy. Can I ask you for a favor? A friend of mine is very ill and unable to move. Can you come over? Thank you. While coming, can you come with your medical equipment so you can collect her specimen and carry out a text? Yes, when you get back to the hospital. I know it's very demanding of me, but please, I beg you in the name of God, just do this for me. Don't worry about the payment. I'll pay any amount. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Alright, I'll text you the address. Thank you once again. Thank you. Faye, you shouldn't have done that. I am prepared to die. Since the man I called my husband could do this to me, then I'm ready to die in his house and on this chair. Trauma. 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 You want to die? You will die. I can die. I will die. Listen. I don't want to hear those words coming out of your mouth if you do not want to give me a heart attack. What is wrong with you? Oh, give me. Eh? Are you the first woman that is getting married to somebody that beats her? Ma, it's okay. It's okay. Ma, it's okay. It's okay. I just called our family doctor. She'll be here shortly. Thank you very much, Faith. God will bless you. Oh, God will bless you. Don't take anything that comes out of her mouth as making sense. <laughs> What is wrong with you now? What is it? Are you feeling any pain? Are you feeling any pain? She answer her now. No. Are you having any pain? I will need you to follow me to the rice room for dance sandbox. Chingwan. Chum. <coughs> I gave back to you. Not me, Chenogwan, Nibun. Mokin, stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Stand up. Oh, Mo. It's okay. Hello? Look, I'm not in the mood to see anyone today, please. Who is it? Okay, let's see. Good day, sir. Good, good, good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, please sit down. Please. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, how may I help you, sir? Uh, you don't remember me, do you? You do look familiar, uh, but apart from what my secretary just told me, I'm sorry, but I'll need your help to juggle my memory a little. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Uh, you were in my office two years ago with a business proposal for a company you wanted to start. 
Tokyo Limited. If I'm not mistaken. You're not mistaken, sir. But I did go to a lot of offices back then. Wow. Yes. Dynamic conglomerate. Do you remember? Ah, oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, chairman. Oh, my dear. Dynamic conglomerate. Yes. I remember you clearly. Yes. Yes, I, 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 I remember clearly now. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was supposed to reach out to you at that time. But we were having lots of our projects going on, so I couldn't. I understand. I understand. Well, this is the company. That's yes. company. <laughs> we are working on uh, making it bigger yes, and better. I, <laughs> I can see. Actually, I've been monitoring your progress, and uh, we found out that uh, your services are new and uniquely different. Yes, they are. And. Uh, it's just that uh, we know that currently you have little or no clients. <laughs> we are working on that. <laughs> we are working on that. Yes. I noticed. Uh, yes, I, I asked my analyst to go through your company's uh, statistics. And uh, we discovered that your marketing and public uh, unit uh, is underdeveloped. And I had to discuss with my investors. And we came up with a conclusion that my company will handle the marketing and publicity of your company. <laughs> yes. That's very, that's very amazing, sir. Uh, <laughs> But we, we, we can't afford your company. We, we can't afford dynamic conglomerates. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we are not talking uh, about payment here. You know, I want your company to render services to two of my companies. Okay. I mean paid services, of course. Okay. And that's I say bonus. My experts will handle the marketing and publicity of your company. Free. Yes, I mean free. I'm, I'm short of words. <laughs> <laughs> Paid services. Yes. Um, actually, uh, when you came to my office, I wanted to invest because I saw potentials. But I needed you to take the first step by starting up and running the company for about six months so that I could get convinced. If we had started then, by now, you could have gone far and above all these companies. Nevertheless, we had challenges. That, that, that <laughs> is not late. So I have a business proposal of 80 million naira for you 80 million naira and everything about the business is contained in this document you go through it get back to me and we start the transaction cool okay okay sir so that is it okay sir just go through it and get back to me okay okay um I can see you well. I believe by the next time I come here, this place will be a well furnished office and uh, everything will be working and everything will be intact. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes. All right. I'll be on my way. All right, sir. everything going well good we are here for an important uh, mission okay. 
Okay. Sir, for your information. We've just arrested two suspects as regards to your stolen vehicle. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. The good aspect of it is that my men arrested them while they were trying to sell the three cars they stole to a dealer. Uh, we would want you to join us to the station so that you can actually identify your own, if your own is among, and uh, if it is, you have to sign some necessary documents. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Please, just um, give me a minute. Let me uh, wear something more decent. All right. All right. This is all a miracle. I mean, two good news in one day. I just can't believe it. One, you're getting your car back in this country. And then your investor is finally coming almost just a week to your um, business shutdown. You're a lucky man. Hmm. Your wife's uh, seed is beginning to harvest too. Why are you looking car. at me like that? Abba. I thought you don't believe in miracles. Why wouldn't I get to believe in miracles now? For me, I would say this is your wife's uh, seeds, your didn't harvest. You're a lucky man. Congratulations. <laughs> ah. No scratch. understand your word in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, arrest him. Father, arrest him in the morning. Arrest him in the afternoon. Arrest him in the evening. In all angle. In the name of Jesus Christ. should have believed you but my heart was consumed with hatred and unbelief but I can see clearly now my eyes are open and I believe I believe you I believe in God I believe in the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles Baby, I can see clearly now, I believe in it all and I know that what has just happened to me could only have been God. It could only have been the intervention of God in my life. Only God could have done it, this. Only God could have done what... Yes, I am six weeks gone. 
It's unbelievable, right? You know, when God wants to bless someone, He make it a way where there is no way. God blessed you through your wife. Do you know that the blessings of God you are enjoying today was because of the seed your wife sowed to God? That God decided to bless you this time around. In fact, it is good to hearken to the voice of God. I'm happy for you to have this kind of a wife. The Holy Spirit ministered to her and she hearkened unto the voice of God and did exactly as directed by the Spirit. Today, look at the game. Look at the benefit of listening to Holy Spirit. You are very lucky. You are so blessed to have a wife such as this. Bless God on her behalf. Yes. And I want to tell you today that this God that has started this good thing in you will see you through. Amen. He will never stop halfway. Amen. Heavenly Father, I bless you for this family. My Bible made me know that he that started the good work will see them through. Amen. Continue to bless them. Amen. Continue to bless them. As Sister Choma is pregnant, Lord, I commit her into thy mighty hand. She shall deliver safely. Bless this family, O Lord. Bless them physically, spiritually, materially, and otherwise. Amen. You shall be called blessings. Amen. Other people will be blessed through you. Amen. Because our God.